Survey of India, the National Mapping Agency has developed and maintained the National Special Reference Framework NSRF of the country since 19th century. As envisaged in the National Geospatial Policy 2022, Survey of India is in the process of modernizing the National Special Reference Frame by establishing coarse network covering all parts of our country and making it accessible to all Indian entities. Course Infrastructure is a network of permanently installed reference stations equipped with high precision grade GNSS equipment. These stations collect 24 by 7 GNSS satellite data of all available constellations and forms well-defined, stable, high accurate and easily accessible spatial reference frame for country. Course stations also act as a real-time kinematics-based stations that broadcast corrections via internet and augment the accuracy of real-time positioning of GNSS equipment. Looking at the importance and usefulness of the technology, Survey of India has established more than 1,000 continuously operating reference stations all across the country, which are obtainable 24 by 7 for 365 days of the year. Course Network will also increase productivity of surveying and mapping agencies as they can free up their inventory and pool of skilled manpower from setting up their own base stations by subscribing correction services of Course Network to receive NRTK corrections. GNSS data collected by continuously operating GNSS equipment can also be retrieved from the central server via internet for post-processing. These data can be used in the determination of precise geodetic coordinates as well as in various kinds of scientific studies like ionospheric and tropospheric modeling, earth crust deformation, sea level rise, climate change and meteorological studies etc. Course data and correction services are disseminated in open and non-proprietary protocols making them more accessible and easy to use. Countrywide course network will enable single standard for collecting, storing and using geographic data for cadastral land administration system, smart cities, road and rail networks and other infrastructure projects like gas, water, power, communications and logistics etc. It will ensure consistency, compatibility and harmony in geospatial data set created by various organizations and agencies and will facilitate efficient use of country's resources by reducing duplication and promoting data sharing and cooperation amongst them.